Welcome to Mondo Gagakusho Chemistry 2016. Now, part 6. Ethylene. What is the most appropriate method for collecting ethylene when it's reacted with ethanol and concentrated sulfuric acid? For information that ethanol with sulfuric acid can turn into ethylene. Ethylene is basically ethane. It's just the, you know, names, various names. It will only happen in high temperature, under 70. If uh, this is become, this actually can become ether, ether, if, if this is low temperature, 130. Anyway, number one, how to collect it, I mean, appropriately collecting ethylene. The answer is we collecting gas over water. Remember, ethylene is gas. Okay, even though ethanol is liquid, sulfuric acid is liquid, but to collect the ethylene, we need to collect the gas over water. So, yeah, we need the gas because that is ethylene. For number two, the correct structure of ethylene. All of the carbon atoms exist in the same plane. Of course, you can see that... Uh, they all have the same plane, right? So this is the answer. Reflect number two. Cis and trans isomers exist. Well, that is not true because cis uh, uh, expect you to have one that is the same. So this is whole, all is the same and trans is just the inverse of it. For example, if you have this one, okay, this is cis you have minimal one pair the same and this is double bond and if trans you what do you say uh, flip this so cis you same in here double bond for trans you same in diagonal double bond and this is different so cis and trans could, couldn't be exist for the isomers of ethylene and for number three Carbon carbon double bond in ethylene is shorter than carbon carbon triple bond in the test in acetylene. Acetylene is C triple bonded to H and for ethylene is C double bonded to H. What do you call that? Well the ethylene is actually longer than acetylene, right? You can look it by yourself. Anyway, number four it has a tetrahedral molecular structure. Well, guys, ethene or ethylene has, what do you say, linear or planar? Anyway, it's not tetrahedral. Tetrahedral is methane. CH, this is tetrahedral. But this have double bonded, so it couldn't be tetrahedral. Okay? Now, for number three, that is about the correct description for the combustion of ethylene. How about the combustion of ethylene? Well, ethylene burns with a bright flame and characteristic smell. It will not have soot. It will not accompanied by toxic gas. And it is actually burned. So it is not, but it is actually flammable. So it will burn. So the answer is, Number one, it burns with a bright flame and characteristic smell. What is the weight percent of carbon in polyethylene? Calculate the weight ratio of carbon in polyethylene and answer using the of weight percent to the first decimal place. Polyethylene is simply when you have ethene, it turns into polymer. This is polymer. You see that this bond comes out and it wants to uh, join with another ethylene. That's why it's polyethylene. So this is ethylene, ethylene, ethylene. Poly means many, more than one. This is polyethylene. How much is the weight percent? Okay, so remember that the, mo the molecular, I mean the relative atomic mass of 
carbon is 12. H, the atomic relative mass is 1. CH2, if you combine that, has 14. If you asked about the weight person, the weight percent of the carbon in polyethylene, just use this one. Just use one compound because it's actually the same. So ethylene, bond with ethylene, bond with ethylene, and more, polyethylene. So there is weight percent of carbon. Carbon has 12, the total is 14. So you times 100%, which is 87.5%. And remember, it is first decimal place, so the answer is 87.5. And now for number five, when ethylene gas is bubbled through bromine water, that is Br2, so ethylene, you want to mix it with bromine. How many moles of ethylene to change the bromine water from yellow to colorless? Means that how moles of bromine, so I mean how many moles of ethylene so that it can mix together to become a correct or the perfect compound to change the color. Basically, just draw the structure. You see, bromine has two. I mean, there's two compounds. They want to bond with ethylene. Okay, so how do they bond? Well, they simply just break the bond. How to break the bond? You see that here, there are bond here bromine breaks with the other bromine it has one valence electron it bonds the first bromine bond to here and the second bromine to here so this will result into H C bromine bromine so it is already perfect right because c has four valence already bond with h4 the other c has has four valence already balanced with it four h and br has one valence has already bond with one so the answer is we only need one mole because we only have two bromine it is already a pair there is one mole of bromine because bromine compound is diatomic. So that is Br2. Okay guys, that is part 6 of Momoka Gakko Show Chemistry 2016. Thank you for watching.